Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. She is ready for a hike. So when I started out on this journey, I had visions of doing videos like the videos I've been seeing on YouTube. You know, of the beautiful places I'm staying and things like that. And that's just not, has not been my experience quite a bit of the time. So I want to post, you know, I'm thinking I'm not going to post that. I'm not going to post that. This is not like what I planned on posting <laughs> or experiencing. But then just recently I had thought, um, you know what? I'm just going to post it. I'm just going to post it. So what I'm going to do in this video is this is a montage of my experience uh, trying to attempting to boondock the Oregon coast. And I'm just going to put it all in one video and then hopefully we can move on from that. And let's, let's just do some intentions that we have some decent experiences. So grab your popcorn, kick off your shoes, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. <laughs> hey guys, so I accidentally deleted the clips for the very first section of this video because I have to clear memory out to upload. So I'm just gonna describe it. I pulled into a site east of Brookings. I, uh, it was my third attempt. The first two were really sketchy. It was a nice spot, very peaceful by a little creek on the river bank. And then these two locals pull in and there's like chainsaws and gunfire. And I'm thinking chainsaws and gunfire. I think, is there another dead body? I'm like, what? So, um, that's the part that's missing, and then here's the rest. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I'm gonna give you a quick update. We're pretty tired, but we gotta go. <clears throat> so after the kids left with the chainsaw and the guns and the rock music, I see out my window someone's walking around my camp. I'm like, what the? So I shut all my stuff, but then he peeked out and it didn't look like, he looked like a normal guy, he's an older guy. So I thought, oh, maybe he's just trying to figure out what was going on over here. So I went outside and um, he's actually a retired police officer, so I felt a lot better. And he said he wanted to see if my car was damaged, if everything was okay, because they were shooting, I didn't know this, they were shooting towards my van. I'm like, at my van? He's like, well, no, they were doing the skeet. He heard them say, pull, and then they would shoot. N never a dull moment. I'm telling you, it's never a dull moment in my life. But I'm hoping for some. I'm still hoping for some dull moments. All right, baby, we're packing up again. Let's go. We're going down Rogue River Road. Rogue River and the road. And this is actually, I'm going to try to find the spot where I first dispersed camp, my first dispersed camping in my life, and just regroup. Kind of exciting. Been like three years since I've been here, and a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Or is this it? I think that was it. And someone's there. That's it. I know that's it. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, God, Oregon. Still looking. Plan B. Okay, we're going to check out our view today. Go Beach Campsite. I can't really tell, but that's the Pacific Ocean right there. Pacific Ocean. Okay, we're uh, leaving our Vista Point. It's beautiful, but it's hot for us. 80 in the car, and Sophie's panting like crazy. We are 
headed to our spot in Coos Bay. See if it's still available. We just we're trying to get to our spots before sundown. We're trying to do things differently this time, Mahani. Huh, Bastendorf Beach. Fiona said there was a place up the road where they camped on the beach for weeks. And we stayed here for three days last time. We'll see if it's still allowed. I'll go through town and see if the Walmart, any campers there, it's, you know, a last resort. I'm really bummed, you guys. I don't know, man. I suck at van dwelling. Man, we just stayed there in October. I'm really bummed. I was going to stay there for like a week or two on the beach. Land of the free. I know there's Forest Service campgrounds up by the dunes, but uh, I can't do too many of those. We might end up in Alaska. I don't know, you guys. I, this is tiring to me. Always looking for a spot and everybody makes it look so easy. I don't make it look easy. <laughs> I'm gonna post it. I think I'm gonna post it. Because this is my reality of van dwelling is is tiring. You're always I'm always looking for places to sleep. I'm getting fast food. This is a fast food night. I'm very hungry. And I'm going somewhere where I don't even have to walk. I'm going somewhere where I have to just drive through, honey. I was going to show you guys where to park on the coast. Well, now you know where not to park. Right onto Walnut Avenue. All right. So now my GPS sent me into some neighborhood and down a dead end street. Proceed to the road. Uh, all right. She's fired really weird. I can see it on my left and my GPS is telling me to turn right. So yeah, it's one of those nights. Turn right onto Newmark Street then turn right onto Spruce Street. Okay, we're driving into the Walmart in Coos Bay. I don't see any campers. But there's Burger King. Yeah, I don't think so. We're gonna get a burger. So we're on the 101, going south actually, um, through Coos Bay. So this is, it's kind of cute. There's just a vibe here that I don't like. I don't know what it's, that's about. I want another burger already. Oh, there's Wendy's. Okay, so I just grabbed my map, but I had the mouse sticky things down there. Um, I didn't want to use them, but and so I reached for my map and I grabbed a sticky thing so my fingers are full of sticky stuff now so not complaining just saying and what's that peanut butter lettuce <laughs> for my burger must have fallen <laughs> living the dream I decided to go 20 miles north to a campground I'm familiar with. Forest Service Campground. I just have a safe place to sleep. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go check out the Elliott State Forest. It's very beautiful here. Let's see the what does this do? I guess we can look on our Google Maps, but we don't have signal. That's why we want signal. Also, we want signal so we can uh, check out. Um, oh, wow! Oh man, this is cool. I still do. I need shade. That is a problem. Oh. No, we're good. We got shade, honey. Oh, my goodness. 
All right, this one works. And we do actually have a little bit of a view over when we're standing over there, sitting over there through the trees and look, another fire pit with a bunch of firewood. It's really cool. Look at all that. This is no good. Geez, I can make a little chair. Let's make a chair, Oni. All right, you like it, Oni? Whee! Hey, all right. What's this? <gasps> Look what I found. Go find. Oh, good catch, baby. Good catch. She likes it. She's like, are we going to drive all day again? And then we got out and she said, oh, boy. Yay, she wants to lounge. I love you. I love you. We can walk down there a little. Here's our view. I could put my chair here if I wanted. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect. It's perfect. We're leaving our camp because someone was parked right by the entrance to my little campsite and they were shooting off rounds. And then they drove away. So I don't know if somebody just drove up to the by my camp, shot off some rounds and then left or if it was like a warning sign. Because, you know, a lot of these campsites, the locals come and there were gun shells. This beautiful rock. It is gorgeous here. There's gun shells at my campsite, but, you know, that's normal <laughs> in these parts. So, I just didn't feel comfortable staying. Sophie was very nervous. And then after they left, she was, you know, always looking over to see, are they there? Now, this is the Umpqua River again. In case it's in another video, redundant. Let's go on. Ooh, this is just heaven to me. It's heaven. The combination of ocean and rivers and lakes and forests in the same place. So we'll see how it goes, Oni. I don't know where we're gonna go. Or maybe we'll go to Florence. We've got a casino up there. Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. Come on, Oni. So we're gonna leave the Florence Casino. Uh, we have no more nights left and I was actually down for a day after the gunshots. I had scrambled to put Sophie in the van and my head moved and that's all it takes nowadays. It's too bad, it used to be four nights free, but you know, you get one night free and then if you like to use the slots, it's like, 50 points a night for a free night. Of course, my joke is that's like saying, you know, you go into a burger joint and they're like, free burgers if you give us $7, you know? So it's a free, free camping. No, free overnight parking if you do 50 points on your card. But, uh, and yeah, I did that joke at the security and that didn't not go over very well. But um, <laughs> I was all flared up and uh, I get like, drunk it's like I'm drunk when I'm stage two so they give me a free night though <laughs> I told them come on girl huh? yeah there she goes co-pie there's my co-pie all right let's go see all right we found another really good spot we have two bars and a view the only concern is there's a lot of gun shells here and I mean a lot more than I've ever seen so I don't know that makes me a little nervous that's an extra bonus not that that so. okay so it said Florence this way and look at this road however grown it is 